Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Britt here and today we're going to talk about my washi tape collection. So, for those of you who do not know, washi tape is actually made from natural fibers and it's pretty much kind of mimicking masking tape, but it's way better than that because you can buy washi tape in so many different designs. It's strong, durable, and versatile. So, I started my collection probably a year and a half ago and I went washi crazy because that is pretty much when I learned it's what it's capable of and what I could do with it with my journaling and my planning and so today I just kind of wanted to show you some of my washi tape for those of you who like to see washi tape and for those of you who may not even know what washi tape is I would assume that majority of you do but for those who, of you who don't be prepared to have your mind blown. Okay, so what's so special about washi tape? Well, it is pretty much high quality masking tape made of rice paper and is able to do quite a few things. So you could tear it off yourself. So if I take a washi, You can easily tear it off without using scissors. You can stick it on something. You can reposition it. And then as long as you have the right tools, you can even write on it. It has a low tack adhesive, so it makes it very easy to use and then reuse. Now you can buy your washi from many different sellers. I have purchased mine from Amazon, I've purchased from Etsy shops, and I've purchased from Instagram. There are so many different sellers out there that will sell you washi. And if you find the right seller, you will find very good prices for different washi. Most of the washi prices range from a dollar to as much as like five dollars for just one washi tape or washi roll. Um, washi comes in different roll sizes. You can get a normal, what I would call normal. I don't know what the size is for each one but in most cases washi come in this size for the most part you can get thin washi like these super thin which is pretty much half the size of a roll and then you can get super wide rolls as well. Now they also sell tape dispensers where you can add your washi in here and then just have them use to easily tear off. You can also purchase these empty washi individual washi roll um, terror dispenser things. I'm not really sure what they're called, but I got mine from jetpens.com. But how you use it is you put it on the washi, you put the washi tape over the rim, and then when you want to tear off a certain amount, you push it back. You hear the noise, and then you take 
the edge, you hold down, and you tear, so it's a perfect tear on your washi. And that's what you get. So these things are pretty cool, and they come in three different sizes. So this one would... Nope, this will work for that one. You kind of have to match the right washi. It could work for this one. You can even work for two of the same, or two different washi, if you want, as well. So I typically like to keep my favorite washi close to me and the closest items are these two boxes which I have on my desk and also the ones in my in my drawer. Now you can really find some unique washi online. I do like the washi you can get from NT or is it the NT brand of washi? I do like buying unique washi that have really f fun and cool designs on them. And you can even get washi from Walmart and your local craft store and even the dollar store sells washi. So. is this one and it has a bunch of words it's almost like um, newspaper and I've used it a couple times in my journals but it's in French which is really cool um, I studied French in college and I have a minor in French so I always like to see, um, I always like to use little um, French accents in my journaling. So this was really neat find. And then same here, it's another French uh, washi that has pictures on it as well and writing. And then, of course, the cursive washi, the cursive washi, the cursive writing washi tape that adds a really unique element to your journaling and scrapbooking. I have polka dot washi and stripes and solid washi and then your like leisure looking washi tape as well. There's another ticket. I even have this. I call it washi but it's not necessarily washi. Usually um, as soon as you put this down it's hard to lift up and take off but um, it's like more masking tape and this is in my collection too okay so some ways I like to use washi is decorating in my um, notebooks also decorating like outside covers of my notebooks so here I pretty much use washi all over this notebook just to give it a cover since it is mainly out of um, brown cardstock in the traveler's notebook style I have used washi also to decorate there's washi there 
I use it to add tippins. So I put washi at the bottom of the page here. This is just more washi to decorate. For example, some tippins. I use it to adhere some of my pictures to my pages. And you can also use washi as stickers if there's like a design on it that you want. So you can cut it out of the washi, the design, and then adhere it to your page. Some more tippins. Now in my Hobonichi, and this is my Hobonichi cousin, I have actually been using washi as more of a bookmarker. So here's an example. Here I put washi at the top of the page just to kind of bookmark it um, for whenever I need to come back to the page. I have also used it to add a little bit of decor to something that I adhered onto the page. But yeah, I really like the idea of have another one of using it as a bookmark. Of course, you could use different washi to make it more visible but here's another bookmark I added just to whenever I do flip back to these pages I know that I have this here for a specific reason but yeah so that's how I like to use my washi I hope you guys like this video for any of you guys do who do own washis make sure to uh, Explain down below how you guys like to use yours. Alright, we'll catch you guys next time.